we just have a well, close look at that. Well, the next game is against uh, Scotland. No, that's right. But, uh, well, that's in Dubai. That's in Dubai. I think uh, both the games, I don't think India has another game in Abu Dhabi now. Uh, uh, if Richard, you uh, could no, just no, check. That's, uh, the, the oh, this uh, one, full-blooded shot there, but straight to the fielder there at long off. And uh, only a single. So, I mean, this is the first game India has played in Abu Dhabi and uh, they've been able to play well and win this game. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, all the games in Dubai, they haven't played any game in Sharjah. Both games against New Zealand and Pakistan were in Dubai. And uh, today, this one is in Abu Dhabi. Good delivery right in the block hole. Shalafuddin is the uh, new man in to join Janat, who's had a few streaky ones. So uh, tomorrow, it's uh, Australia versus Bangladesh. Uh, that game is in Dubai. It's 2 p.m. local time in Dubai, followed by West Indies versus Sri Lanka. That's 6 p.m. local time. That's uh, in Abu Dhabi. So that'll be interesting, uh, Sri Lanka uh, engage with each other, how do they perform in Abu Dhabi, as we've been talking, Sir Clive Lord, you've been sharing your insights that the Abu Dhabi pitch has this bit of this green tinge on it, is helping uh, the seamers, the pace bowlers to get a little bit out of the wicket, we saw that in the earlier matches, it'll be interesting to see how West Indies and Sri Lanka go about it tomorrow. At all depends if they prepare the same type of pitch. That's sort of thing. But um, they have a bit of bounce. Just watching a replay of uh, Jadeja's catch that wasn't a catch. I wonder if he looked like he caught it and then he, it went across to this hand, to the left hand. And the equation Afghanistan need 81 runs and 6 deliveries. Comprehensive win here for India. So oh, that's a fine shot. Jump, short and wide and punched away through to deep point. So four more runs. Uh, Jeanette's moved on to 34. He's played nicely from uh, 19 balls. Hardik Pandya is bowling this last over. And the bowler claimed that catch, uh, you know, and yeah. uh, normally if the Normally, it happens that the bowler, if uh, has yeah. their their mannerisms are a bit different. They're not sure, or they signal that yeah. I don't know. Well, but uh, he was very confident that he caught it yeah, cleanly. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Well, if you if you're the umpire, I mean, it's it's, it's happening so fast. You know, you got to split decision. But to if, say, they, if the batsman is not happy with it. Then you have to go up still. Yeah. Well, oh, that's absolutely, yeah. absolutely. It has to be cross checked whenever it's and not it's crystal clear. Looks funny too. You know. Sure, absolutely. This wow. is the last over of the Afghan innings. Over number yeah. 20. 130. And it's, and it's Pandya who's been given the duty to bowl the last over. He's given five runs in his first two deliveries. And uh, he will be bowling to Sharafuddin who tries to play a big shot, goes to the fielder there on the onside. Another single, just a matter of formality. Motions, yeah. they're going through the motions. And they are, yeah. They've only got a few more balls to go here. And uh, it's not been the kind of game that we uh, anticipated. I think we anticipated a much tighter game here. But uh, it was clear early on that India were going to post a very big total. And they did. I mean, you know, this little, when the team batting first, this one has been hit uh, to the onside again to the fielder there, mid wicket, and I mean, another single. It's probably unlikely that we'll see another total like this in the tournament. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, India surprised everybody. Played such two games played so badly, and suddenly you come out and score 200 runs and um, the highest total, highest score of the whole tournament. 
and uh, it's been that north and south kind of a performance so far but they've got the momentum now they've got two very very important games to go they need to uh, play as well as they played today this oh, one that's a nice shot uh, just falling short of the fielder at mid wicket uh, it's going to be another couple of runs here is it just a single in fact uh, so just one ball to go 138 for 7 and it's all but over just one more delivery Janath has played pretty well 36 of 21 stayed at the wicket uh, got some good batting practice there for the rest of uh, the matches oh that's a shortish one to finish and is that going to be a six to finish oh. yes it is a six uh, which is over uh, <laughs> extra cover so uh, deep extra cover six we got uh, to finish the match India win by 66 runs so absolutely a comprehensive victory for India they batted out uh, Afghanistan then they kept them tight huge total 210 and uh, Afghanistan 66 runs short of that target of 211 and India pick up their first two points as for this T20 World Cup is concerned whoop 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 yeah happy go. Diwali I'm, I'm happy Diwali everybody <laughs> yeah uh, well I'll go through uh, the uh, scores as uh, India win uh, comprehensively in Abu Dhabi and uh, well Afghanistan won the toss and uh, put India into bat and uh, there was a hundred plus opening partnership uh, Rahul and uh, Rohit Sharma so Cal Rahul Rohit Sharma uh, 